so now that I have Windows 7 installed, I'm going to, I just put Windows 10 into the disk drive. Oh, I wanted to turn that fan down, darn it. Alright, booting into Windows 10 now. Let's see. Install now. Start with the region. Yes. I gotta go into the BIOS, like, pronto and adjust that fan speed. What we're gonna do right now is shut it down and go into the BIOS. You hear that fan? It is actually going freaking nuts. The fan is running at almost 6,000 RPM right now. Auto mode. Full speed. Put this up to 60. Hopefully that calms it down. Boot order. SATA. Looks like we're good for right now. Let's see if that fan calms down. Instantly. You hear that thing? Man, that fan was freaking pissed off. <laughs> Alright, now our fan is uh, nice and calm. Alright, so I got Windows 10 installed and um, went into the BIOS, adjusted a couple things, got the fan to calm down, all that crap. And um, this is the the three gigabytes of RAM that is out of this little HP. And I still have plans for this HP, so don't think it's don't think this project's over. I still have big plans for it. <laughs> Believe me, I do. So we're gonna take these three three gigabytes out of here and um, put them back in the HP for right now. And just now, I went out to my uh, mailbox and I got my China Post delivery alright and, and here is my 8 gigabytes of RAM so let's go ahead and open that and we'll install it and see if this thing boots up I'm actually really excited about getting this RAM um, I would planned on running 8 gigabytes um, I didn't really think about running 16 gigabytes. I mean, it is DDR2 RAM, and it's ancient. But um, this board actually, from what I read online, it supports 16 gigabytes. So what I'm probably going to do is um, I should have I should have already ordered it to tell you the truth. But um, I'm kind of low on cash right now, and I'm going to order another 8 gigabyte kit from this same person because they got a bunch of identical. Uh, Samsung RAM and um, I should have ordered another kit already but Ooh, that looks nice I hope this thing boots up without an issue having four gigabyte RAM sticks in here I got eight gigabytes of RAM for seventeen dollars and I think it's seventeen dollars and ninety eight cents or something like that so and a got a couple of nice RAM containers. <laughs> All right, let's boot this thing up. Let's see if it works. All right, you guys ready? Turn it on. Oh no! No! It is not booting with this RAM in it. What the heck? All right, let's shut it back down. I'm, I'm gonna take one of the sticks out. Just try to boot it with one four gigabyte stick. Alright, let's try it now. Alright, it booted with one stick in there. So maybe now we'll be able to uh, power it back down and install this other stick. Even on those old uh, 775 Intel boards when I was doing 16 gigabytes I had to do 8 gigabytes and then um, boot or power down and then install the other 8 gigabytes for it to actually work oh my gosh that was worrying me for half a second there there's our Phenom 9750 
64-bit operating system, 4 gigabytes of RAM installed. Alright, let's go ahead and power it down and install that other 4 gigabyte stick. And hopefully it boots. Alright, there's the other stick. Let's try this again. You guys ready? What the heck? Why isn't it booting with two sticks in it? Oh, it's terrible. Let's take this one out, the second one, and we'll make sure it's a good stick. We'll take this one out. This one's working. Now we'll take this one and try it in the first slot and see if it's going to boot with that stick in there. All right, let's try it again. So it boots with that one stick and it booted with this one stick but it won't boot with both the sticks in a different slot I know you're not supposed to really do it like this but we're going to try it anyways alright let's try it it posted so it wouldn't post with one stick in the yellow and one stick like in channel one and channel three but it will do it in uh, one and two I think I have that right yeah or dim 1a and dim 1b dim 2 I wonder if this is supposed to be like that I mean I always assumed that it was one here and one here but um Maybe I don't have that correct in AMD boards. That fan sounds a little bit crazy again, but it's super hot in my garage right now. It's over 100 degrees in my garage. <laughs> uh, system properties. All right, it's showing eight gigs. Eight gigabytes of RAM. So I'm pretty unfamiliar with AMD systems in general. Most of my computer stuff has been with older Intel stuff, older Dells. So I assumed that um, the RAM would go in like the first one and then the third one to run dual channel. But after getting into the user guide, right here it says, um, supports one pair of modules inserted either into the yellow slots or the black slots as one pair of dual channel memory configuration and then I started getting worried that um, maybe it's not going to be able to support 16 gigabytes so I went online and there's like actually somebody that couldn't get um, you know four gigabyte modules to work in each slot and people were talking about high density um, sticks versus low density sticks well on these AMD sticks you have um, basically these little deals on here and on high density ones you'll have four and four and four and four and so you got basically 16 of these little things on one side and then on the other side it's the same thing so it'll be a total of 32 chips and um, Somebody was actually saying that uh, a lot of the boards can only do a total of 64 chips. And so if you have high density modules with um, basically 32 chips per uh, DIM, you can't run 16 gigabytes because it'll be more than 64 total. So I don't, I don't know. Um, right now, I think I'm going to be okay because I actually installed that uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM in the first two slots and then I took that other 3 gigabytes and I installed it. So right now it's actually running 11 gigabytes of RAM and um, these two chips alone are 64 total little chips on the, on the stick and then uh, this one right here it actually has chips on both sides. You see that one and then that one? But this one right here, it only it doesn't have chips on this side. It only has chips on this side. So 
regardless, right now I'm running more individual chips than just 64. So I'm kind of confident as of right now that it'll be able to run, um, you know, 16 gigabytes of RAM. I just, I just don't want to wait another three weeks and spend another $18 almost for um, another eight gigabytes of RAM if it's not going to work. But right now it is running 11 gigabytes of RAM. And I think the next thing I'm, I need to do is um, take this Phenom chip out of here and put in the, the Athlon. Because this Athlon chip is, I think when I looked it up, it's about 25% faster than this Phenom chip. And honestly, um, even with 11 gigabytes of RAM, Windows 10 looks a little laggy. See, like when I click that open, it's a little laggy. So um, maybe the faster chip will help that. Like when I scroll through here, it's not too bad, but it is, a, it just seems like a little bit laggy. But we'll see. Next thing I'm going to do is um, turn it off and put that Athlon chip in.